Hello, hello, and welcome to the Passive Income with Content channel. We always talk about how to sell more content, whether it's in the form of written content, graphic content, audio content, uh, video content, small content, tiny content, big content, whatever it is you're uh, selling. And um, usually content is the vehicle that drives your traffic to whatever it is that you're selling. So, um, or it's actually the content content that you're selling itself. And we're going to actually be talking about that today, uh, specifically two ways to sell your content and why. So what exactly does that mean? You'll see in just a minute. Uh, if you have not done so yet, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you never miss a video. And I get to interact with you when you do make your comments. I love hearing your feedback and I want to know more from you and I want to hear from you. This is for you. If you want to improve your online sales, okay, selling online, creating content is all about sales online. So we talk about that too. It's all part of it. Um, you want some guidance on how to make more sales online. You want help with your passive income strategy, especially with content, passive income with content. That's the main goal here. And you want lifelong skills so that you can make even more more money on going. All right. So when it comes to selling your content or selling your products, right, you really have to choose one pathway. And how do you choose that pathway to determine where you're going to sell your products? So let's look at here. We answered this question. Do you have an audience slash a following already? And or do you rely or need to rely on buyer traffic from outside sources? So if you're just starting out or you haven't built much of a following yet, then you're going to veer towards outside sources, right? If you already have an audience specifically in a form of an email list, then that's going to steer you in another path. Okay, so this is really the first question that you need to ask yourself, okay? So so from the answer to this question, this is how it's going to go. So let's say we um, have an audience and a following already. Let's say we say, yep, I'm going to choose that. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to probably, while you can sell your content on different marketplaces, which we'll talk about, you can probably also sell your content on your own marketplace. So that means that it doesn't mean that you have to build an, your own Etsy or Amazon. It just means that you need to build some kind of system where people can purchase from you and you have like a buy button and people can buy it and get it delivered to them and use your product. So um, we're not going to talk about the specifics on how to set that up in this video, but you're going to have to decide, you know, are you going to want like a WordPress site? Are you going to want Shopify? whatever it is, uh, another type of system that you can use to sell your products, right? So the advantages of selling on your own marketplace is you make more money. So you're not paying a third party your royalties or a portion of your royalties because there is no third party right? So you're not paying a third party and you can build your own buyers list. So a lot of times when you're selling on other marketplaces, you have to go through another step or another means to actually sell your other stuff and get people on your list. Okay. So like, for instance, if you sell a book on Amazon, Amazon usually doesn't give you the uh, buyer's email address. <laughs> they just don't do it, right? So we have to think of other ways where we can get that person to sign up for our email list. Like we give them a free gift inside our book or whatever it is. We can do that with our content as well. So we have to kind of think outside the box when we are selling on different marketplaces. So the disadvantages of selling on your own marketplace is you're going to need your own traffic. So people aren't going to be coming to your site unless you somehow drive them to your site. And you also need to maintain your own site as well. So if there's an 
update that you need to do, if there is, um, you know, some security measures that you have to take place, secure your site, secure your payments, you're going to have to be in control of, of all of that. Whereas if you're selling on a platform like Amazon, they're in control of all that stuff, right? So you're going to need to make your marketplace a trustworthy one, and you're going to have to do everything to maintain the, the back end and make sure that everything's going smoothly for you and your customers. So let's see if we answer this way. Um, we need to rely on buyer traffic from outside sources. Let's say we don't have our own sources quite yet and we're working towards that. So we're probably going to put our stuff on other marketplaces so that we kind of piggyback and take the traffic from those sites so that they see our material and our uh, products and services, whatever it is that we're selling. If you like this video so far, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. So um, if we take this path, that means that we need to use outside marketplaces like Etsy and Amazon and some others, right? The advantages are you have a built-in traffic source, right? So you can do stuff to get your traffic. You can either drive your traffic to marketplace or you can drive your traffic to um, your own marketplace. So you could have both at the same time. Remember, you can sell the same piece of content in multiple places. And that's what makes this very powerful. So you can send your own traffic, but most likely if you pick the right keywords and you have the right niche, you'll get ongoing traffic organically. Um, there's no setup of your own system, right? You don't have to mess with, you know, what system do I use to set it up and all the stuff that we just talked about. It's actually a very quick setup. And if you want to make sales, you can pretty much make them and you, if you have all the material to, to put your stuff up for sale, you can get that up very quickly, like within less than a day, and then you can start making sales. So you don't have to do um, a lot of hard work. Some of the disadvantages of other marketplaces is one of the big ones is that you make less money because these sites usually don't charge you to put your products up, but they charge you when you actually make sale. All right. So that's why there's a, a big advantage to kind of shift to selling on your own marketplace because down to the, the, the dollars and cents, folks, you're making more money. You don't have to split those royalty and revenues with that marketplace, right? There's always going to be a price to, put, to pay. Even if you have your own traffic and you want to get more new people, then those sites are perfect for you to kind of capture. And then you can sell those people through and get them on your list in other ways. Big disadvantage here is you don't always create a buyer's list, but like as I said, there are creative ways that you can get those people on your list. Uh, we won't talk about them in this video, but there's uh, and, I, and I alluded to that when I was talking about selling books on Amazon, like giving away free gifts, things like that. You need to kind of work harder on the back end to get those people to get on your list somehow so that when you actually decide to sell on your own platform, you have the means to do that. Right. So those are the biggest advantages and disadvantages on selling your product on either a marketplace or your own marketplace. And I want to invite you to a new workshop that I put together for tiny content giant profit where I talk about this stuff. Right. Um, I show you how you can structure your content to sell on your own marketplace and on other marketplaces. You can sell easy low content products that don't take you very long to create you know that we always talk about that here on the passive income with content channel um, you can sell information and low content products so that you can make a connection with your audience faster so if you want to create things that don't take you as long and smaller like principles or um, checklists things like that we show you how to do that inside of tiny content channel and profits, um, show you how to pick the right things to sell to maximize your conversions and passive sales. Okay. So as I kind of go through this and teach 
the uh, specifics on tiny content and specifically like printables and things like that that are really, really hot and easy to create and are a wealth of uh, passive sales for many, many people, both on your own marketplace and on other marketplaces. I'm really honing in on exactly what people need to know and um, when it comes to, you know, selling this content. So you, you can make the content, but you have to know kind of how to sell it as well and so much more. And you can take advantage of that at devdrum.com slash TCGP workshop. Okay, that's TCGP workshop two, and you'll get the training and you'll see how you can get inside to work with me at a very affordable price and um, um, very interactive in the tiny content giant profits product that I have. Uh, that's like a membership site where we can interact and you can learn all the insights on how I've been making uh, six figures every single year since I started in 2000. 2010 on line. Claire says, how big of an email list is big enough? Like I said, Claire, someone who has a big email list, they might want to sell on other marketplaces as well. Their ideal place to sell would be on their own marketplace, right? Like you see me when I send out links, I sell on my own marketplace. I don't, I'm not sending you to an Etsy account, but if I want to grab customers that maybe never heard of my stuff before, I'll probably be able to better do that on a, another marketplace rather than somebody stumbling on my site naturally with organic traffic. You know, that will happen. It will also happen most likely if I put my stuff on other marketplaces. So you don't need a very big email list, but I will say that whenever you are marketing online, it's something that even the people with the big, 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 big lists are always looking to get more because that's you know, that's the strategy behind um, making more online sales and online income, right? So even people who make a really nice income on these marketplaces, they're also building a list as well. So it's just a strategy that um, you're kind of want to going to want to do simultaneously. Cool, everyone. We are 20 minutes past and that's what this is supposed to be. A 20 minute take action of training here. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I will see you on uh, the next training or whatever it is I do next. Have a great rest of your day.